Okay, so recently I've been interested in finding the hardest games on Roblox, and in today's video, I'll be playing these games and putting them in a tier list. The way I'll be ranking them will be based on my experience, the gameplay itself, the mechanics in the game, and more. If you guys have any other hard game suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments. So anyways people, let's get straight to the video. Alrighty guys, so we are here in Randomly Generated Droids. Now, Randomly Generated Droids is a roguelike game that's focused heavily on sword fighting mechanics. And the reason why this game is kind of hard, because every run is different, not every run is the same. Now, I'll show you guys what I mean. So, let me actually just join uh, this queue over here and start the game by myself. And guys, I've had played this game in the past before, and I gotta say, the game is pretty tricky. I wouldn't say the game is too hard, but it's definitely up there. Your journey starts here. This is the first level or the first role we're gonna go in. As you guys can see, I have a copper sword. Now this copper sword is your current main weapon. However, you can actually buy some better weapons later. Okay, let's go over here to this average droid. Let's try to like kill this thing. It's actually pretty easy to kite this person out if you like go back like so. As you can see, these people actually drop these like chips over here. Which is actually your currency or like your money. Let's try to not take any damage as well as we're going through this game. And here we go, an elite weak droid. You guys just saw the weak droids over here, but this guy's a little bit modified with the elite modifier. But as to be honest, I don't know what the elite modifier does. I think it like makes him stronger. All right, here we go. Because I took no damage, I actually get a nice reward. There's a skipping stone so I can skip any room. There's also this crown of O's. I might as well just get this thing over here, the golden circuit, which pretty much gives you some more of these uh, circuits or like currency. So I'll just do that and use it. And okay, let's go over to the shop over here. If you have $18 to spend or like 18 circuits. This sword is good, but I think this one might be a little bit better. So let's get this toy sword. We might as well just get this thing as well. This pine crossbow, a ranged weapon. Let's just go up ahead. That is a gunner droid. He is gonna try to shoot me. So you know what? Let's try to push this guy over here. Nice. We can aggro this guy like so, so he stops shooting us. And then let's kill him. This ghost droid is actually unique because uh, he actually kind of disappears. You guys can kind of see like a trail right there. You guys see that? Let's just get him. There's a green box over here which you can use to push to this green uh, button thingy. And then you get rewards and circuits. Okay, and who's this person? A pyro droid. Pretty sure this guy explodes every like three seconds or something. Oh, I just took some damage. Why did I do that? I'm trash at this game. Yeah, once you kill this guy, he's gonna explode once more, so watch out. Let's use our crossbow here, get this verse droid until he chases us or something. Man, dude, this sledgehammer is so slow. That's a hunter droid. Kind of like that left for dead or left for a blocks, you know what I'm saying? Okay, plus 51 HP. Obsidian sword deals 30 slash and 60 lunge. Give me that. We're over here in elemental heights. Who's this person? Anti-droid and a cryo droid 2.0. Anti-droids are actually kind of friendly with us because like they're going to damage these heal for you. This guy has that protected modifier, so he might be FFs. We'll just get him like so. No problem. And I took some more damage again. Later. Oh my goodness, bro. These weak droids. Dude, I'm just taking damage. Like, it's nothing. Okay, how many more rooms left? There's a hunter droid here. This guy's gonna be a problem. So once I destroy these things, he's, he's free. Oh god, my heart is beating. I thought I took damage there. Oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I think I accidentally stepped on a fire. Or like the lava, because I'm an idiot. But yeah, you guys can definitely see how hard this game can be. Alrighty guys, our first game we're gonna rank randomly generated droids. Now during my experience, I thought this game was really fun to play. I really like how the droids are kind of like random, how there's some RNG aspect to it. And I don't think I had a really hard time playing this game, so it's probably gonna just like medium to easy. The gameplay worked out really well. There's a clear objective, just kill the droids, move on to the next room. As far as the game mechanic goes, again, I like the RNG aspect of the game. I really like how you're supposed to sword fight, but also you have like a ranged option as well. And is the game beatable? I would say so. I don't think this game is impossible. I don't think this game is too hard. I'll just put it right over here, at the medium section. Alrighty boys, so we are here in Jukes' Tower of Hell. Now this game is kind of known to be a very hard obby game, or like the levels in the game are very hard. And I'll show you guys why, so let's just enter over here. And okay boys, we're currently in this game. And just for a little bit of context, I've had played this game a little bit before. As you guys have seen with these beginner towers, I have completed some of them. I don't think I really want to do these intermediate towers, let's go to these advanced towers. 
or just say screw it and go to like one of these like hard towers over here. Yeah, let's just do that. We're gonna go straight for the hard towers. We really don't care about anything. Okay, I'm guessing you have to go on one of these like uh, diamond or like these uh, triangle thingies and then jump on this. There we go. And okay, this is giving me some Tower of Hell vibes. How you have to like go on this one pillar, then walk up on this thing. Let's try to time this thing correctly. I'm gonna take a couple of tries. Yeah, let's just uh, jump back like this. There we go. And okay, I'm guessing I go back over here. Very easy jump. Okay, I'm assuming my head can hit this brick here, so I have to like time perfectly almost. Let's do it like so. We are now here on this level. We have to go up these stud tower brick thingies. And okay, this is pretty easy at the moment. I'm guessing we just go here, then we just uh, straight up go like so or or something. Um, we have to use like the momentum of this thing, and then we fling our body up. I think I did it with one of the levels. Let me try it again. Okay, there we go. And the next part after this is going on this uh, very flat sort of skinny beam here. So let's just uh, I'm gonna hold down W and try the jump, and then we uh, jump like so. Nice. We're already on like the second part of the first level, or looks like the third part actually. This jump is kind of hard to do, so we gotta be careful, we gotta lock in. Okay, with this thing here, I think I can go to the side, right? Or I just uh, jump over here, and just straight up go. Perfect. Alright, stud jumps are pretty easy to do. One stud jumps, I never fail at these, I'm actually good at them. Looks like we are now outside to some area. I'm guessing that lava does kill us, or do some damage. Let's just, let's just run, we really don't care about taking damage. And I really hope these aren't those momentum jumps. Let's jump like so, and then jump here. Oh! I almost fell off there. Okay, where do we go after this? Where do we go? Wait, where am I going? I gotta literally balance on this one block here, dude. It, it actually might be kind of easy if I stop panicking and just like relax like so. Okay, what do we do here exactly? I'm guessing we have to like jump on like something. Wait, what? Okay, I don't know what you do there. I'm pretty sure you have to maybe jump on top of like... Oh wait, no, I see it. We have to jump on these one stud blocks while taking damage. That is fine. As long as we don't die, right? We take things slow and steady. We are good. Let's just go here slowly. This hard level is not that hard at the moment. But trust me, I think it's hard because once you fall down, you have to do the whole thing over again, which is actually very, like, that was actually very devastating. Okay, let's spam jump here because whenever there's these moving blocks, you should spam jump. But you shouldn't panic jump. That's the thing. Must find all 10 of these keys here to, like, unlock the door. Wait, no, they're not keys, they're buttons, so I'm guessing these are all, like, uh, can collide. Or I should say non-can collide, yeah. Let's just, uh, click this button over here. But okay, these jumps can fail so easily, I swear. If I do fall, where do I even go? I just start from the beginning. Bruh. Oh my Everything past this point is actually kind of easy, besides that one, like, green jump that I failed at. Five minutes later. Okay, never mind. Don't worry, guys. So, Jukes is Tower of Hell. I think this is a great obby game you guys should try it, especially if you want to get to obby for the first time. As far as the gameplay goes, the only objective is just to beat the level you're on and move on to the next one. But was the game hard for me? Yes, I would say so, especially at that last level over there. As far as the mechanic goes, there's like some moving blocks, there's also like some momentum jumping stuff. And is the game beatable? I would say for sure it's beatable. But yeah, let's put this game right over here in the hard tier. Maybe even possible, I don't know. But yeah, let me just stay to the hard tier for now. Alright, so the next hard game we're gonna play is called Kaizo Robot 64. And guys, we are here in the game right now. And okay, here's what you have to do. So usually in this game, you're supposed to go over here with like, you know, breaking this thing or something. But anyways, we're gonna try to do what these people are doing, right? We're trying to get on top of this wall. So we backflip like so, you press E, then we go here, and then we do something like that. You guys will see what I mean. So okay, let's backflip, E, nice, and then we just go up ahead, cool. And dude, here's where the real challenge begins, dude, the jumps in this game are actually so insane. Let's grab this thing here, or let's uh, go up ahead, or wait, we don't go up ahead. We have to go all the way back to the spawn, right? And I'm pretty sure we use this disc to actually break that one wall we saw earlier. You guys will see what I mean, yes, this one right here. So let's just uh, go over here like so, throw it, there we go, and that's how you get past this first part. And okay, the second part, I think you do just like wall jump like so. Maybe you need some momentum with like these things here. Let me try this. I'm gonna go back, do the same exact thing where like yeah, you go back to like so, then you go up, then you try to like do that. I'm gonna go like that. Really? Okay, that was kind of a fail. 
Okay, so same thing. We're gonna we're gonna try to back jump like so. Oh no, that's a wrong jump. Wrong. Bump. Okay, last life. Let's make this thing count. I think I can make it. Boom. Do this. Jump. Do that again. And alrighty, game over. Um, hopefully I don't have to start from the beginning, right? I had to start from the beginning. Oh my. Instead of wall jumping up here and trying to go, let's just uh, wall jump like so, right? Then we just go. Ooh, very nice jump. I think you just had to, uh, let's, fo let's follow this guy here. He's gonna jump like so. Oh, he goes over there. Jump, then we go like this. Then we jump, then we keep spinning. Then we just fall down to our death. Okay, cool. I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna jump like this. Jump like that, then we're gonna dive to our death again! Oh my goodness, one more jump, one more try, I mean. Let's just jump like this. There we go! Okay, never mind, we can still do this! Yup, we're still good, we're still good! And okay, this jump is soft. Guys, soft jump, right here. Jump, and then E. Then you go here, E again. There we go, and then I latch on perfect. Let's do this, jump there. Ooh, very bad jump by me, but it's okay. It's okay, I made it, I made it. Okay, and for this jump, I think we just jump like one, two, three, four, or like one, two, three, right? Let's try that. Jump here, one, two, um. Oh, I do not want to fall down there. If I'm gonna spin, right, I actually can't, like, I cannot lash onto any wall. That, that's good to know. Huh? Okay, dude, I actually can't. I actually can't with this thing. I'm just gonna ground pound, or, or um, I, I'm gonna wall walk and, and then die. Okay. Dude, I actually don't even know what to do here. Guys, listen, if you've beaten this game already and you're cringing at me, then I go ahead and cringe at me, okay? Like, I literally don't know what to do here. And looks like it's game over now. Great. All right, so Robot 64. I think this game is actually pretty unique, especially the first game or like the original version, just like the regular Robot 64. The gameplay itself was actually like a lot. You had to like wall jump, you have to like backwards jump, you have to like dive and stuff. You had to like collect this disc and then throw it. The mechanics of the game, there's many mechanics to it with like the jumping aspect and stuff. You definitely have to know the control. So definitely play the first game before you play this one. And is the game beatable? I would say it's beatable, especially if you're a- if you don't have a skill issue, yeah. Now, I saw some gameplay of this game after making the video. I'm just gonna put it over here in Possible. Dude, you have to do so many glitches for, like, this game and everything like that. Let me just stick it into Impossible. Yes, you deserve to be there. Alright guys, we are here in the next game, which is I Wanna Test The Game. I have played this game in the past for it, and I gotta tell you, this game is actually pretty hard. Alright, so yeah, everything is loading in at the moment. And oh, I'm actually over here at this same part. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go to the start over button here, start from the first stage. I know for a fact that, uh, um, if you touch the lava, you're gonna die. Yeah. You can actually double jump here. But there's a troll, right? Oh my god, there's a troll. Yep, there's a troll right there. I, I knew that there was a troll. Okay, so I gotta commit. I cannot just, like, jump like an idiot, like, like I usually... Like I usually do. Dude, what is this? We're gonna instantly go outside. Oh! It's actually pretty easy to dodge that laser. Just had to like not overreact or anything like that. So, um, okay, I'm just trash at this game. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. Is this also a troll? I don't think so. I think we're actually good here. Here we go. Checkpoint. Okay, so yeah, we are now saved here. I don't want to pull out a weapon or anything like that. And okay, there is actually a troll here with this, like, one, like, thing coming right at you. So, um... You must die. Let's try that again. And, uh, wait, what? Okay, can I please save in this game? How do you save? I actually don't know how to save. Oh, here we go. So, okay, let's do the same exact thing. Let's jump here. Okay, I really hope this music isn't copyrights, dude. 
and we had to watch that thing the whole time. So, okay, let's go back here. We're gonna jump like... Us dying there like that is actually better than, um... Then go away. Okay, actually, no more trolling this time. No more trolling. Where's this thing? We're gonna go on a very edge. Okay, let's just go here, save. We click on shift, I think. These guys are very fast, though, so we gotta be careful. Let's just keep going. We know how to do this thing. We literally just jump straight up over here. We, we, we're not afraid of, like, anything here. Oops. There we go. I think there's no troll here, right? I think we should be good. Okay, never mind. There is a troll there. How do you die? Alright, we're back here. Okay, so they both go up. And, and then I die. Okay, cool. One eternity later. Okay, I'm just gonna go after this. So I literally just had to wait for a literally a last one. Okay, got it. Dude, that literally took like 20 minutes just to do. Holy. This person said push the goddamn button. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. The platform's lit! Yeah, this game's kind of cooked. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my goodness, man. I think I'm just gonna call it here, bro. Alrighty, so guys, I want to test the game. I swear, this game is definitely like a troll game. Kind of similar to like, I want to be the guy or like whatever that game is called. My experience in playing this game. Dude, I hate this game so much. I, I don't know. My experience is kind of bad. Not because the game is bad or anything, but I just suck at it. The gameplay mechanics, dude, you have like some shooting, you have some double jumping, I think it's all right. And is the game beatable? I don't even know if this game is beatable. I think I have seen gameplay of it, but like, dude, I'm just gonna put this over here in impossible tier. Would I put it above Robot64? I don't know. Maybe I would, but like, th these guys are definitely tied. I'll just put it here for now. Alrighty guys, so the next hard game we're gonna play is called Deep Woken. You can see in the description here, Deep Woken is a difficult game with permanent character loss. If you die to like maybe an NPC or another player, it's gonna be very uh, it's gonna be very unforgiving, as it says right there. And okay, guys, we're here. Let's create a new character. Apparently, I'm supposed to be a guard and I'm a servant of powerful people. Okay, cool. So I can be like black in this game, or I can be white. Let's go. I guess I'll be brick. Yeah, let, let me actually pick another name. Let me pick brick. What should my last name be? Ven or smoking? Yeah, brick smoking. Let's go. Core attributes. Um, I can probably like minus one of these. Add one of these as well. I love how you can actually read what all these attributes do. I like that a lot. And okay, I'm guessing this is, um... Wait, this might be the tutorial, actually. Okay, cool. Nice. And okay, we're at, at Etris, or Etris right now. Yes, hello there, Mr. Uh, Trency. How's it going? I'm guessing this guy's like a guide. Like, you talk to this person, you can get some stuff from him. Um, I don't really want to talk to you. Wait, low-key, if I attack these people, will they attack me back? Ooh! Okay, yeah, they are attacking me! All these guys are attacking me! Why did I do that? I'm parrying this guy's attack. Watch this. Oh, I parried that! Dude, are these players? I don't know. Oh! <gasps> and okay, looks like I just respawned back here, which is really nice. But here's the thing. Let's say I do die with a lot of gear. Does my character, like, delete forever? That's a thing. I think this person's now chill with me, right? Yes, I, th I, I think she is. Two seconds later. Let's see, I had to set sail, build a ship at the dock. Okay, how do I get to the dock? That's a real question. Let me try to do something like so, right? I can actually kind of climb these walls here. Hold up, is this like a secret area? You fell to battle to gravity, and also I think those are all my items. Yeah, I think I messed around way too much in this game. Great. Obviously, we have nothing in our inventory, because, like, literally, uh, we literally just died, right? These people are friendly with us, because, like, they're obviously guards and stuff. And, okay, let's try to go down to the docks area, or I, I don't know how to get down there. Wait, who's these people? I can parry this guy. 
Bro, can I kill this person? All right, there. Let, let's execute this guy. You'll pay for this. Yeah, right. Oh! Um, is my internet okay? Bro! What is going on? Hold up. Oh, I hear something. Wait, what is that? Wait, bro, whose ship is that? Nah, we gotta visit the ship. Guys, we're gonna visit the ship, say hello to it. We're gonna give these guys a warm welcome. These guys are currently in the water right now. Let's just uh, swim here. Wait, are these players or enemies? I actually don't know. Like here, what do you even do here? Are these people chill with us? Are these guys chill? I got him. Okay, never mind. I don't got him. I think I'm dead. Alrighty, guys. So deep, Oaken. So my experience is all right, but I feel if I play this game more and actually learn, you know, through YouTube videos, I'm gonna like it a lot more. The gameplay worked. There's a good tutorial you can do in the beginning of the game, which is really good. Also, some things in this game that are unique are like your attributes and stuff. I like the mechanics in the game, especially with the parrying, also with like the dodging and stuff. And dude, I think I just touched the tip of the iceberg with this game. There's still so much to like explore, so much to like learn. So yeah, you know what? Let me put this game all the way to the heart here. I'll probably put it over here about Jukes' Tower of Hell. So yeah, I'll keep it in the heart here. Maybe impossible, but I'll put it over here in the heart here. Alrighty boys, so the next game we're going to play is called Decaying Winter. And by the way, this is actually my first time playing. As you guys can see, I'm level 0 with like, no XP whatsoever. And if I have to be honest, I don't really know too much about like, this game or anything like that. Uh, I can select up to 3 traits. Restore 1 health every 10 seconds, that sounds kind of good. And then receive 15 less damage, I like that a lot. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's return here, let's join the game. Night has begun. Search and scavenge. Warning, now leaving the safe area, that is fine. Okay, I think we had to scavenge in this game some like light ammo, some stuff here. Yeah, let's interact with that. We also have an AKM blueprints. Oh, we have this thing right here. What is that? And I have a bunch of items right now. Okay, we're gonna bring all these items back for these people. We're gonna drop a lot of these things here for all our people back there. We dropped all of those things here. Perfect. Okay, I think I kind of understand this game now. You have to like go outside, scavenge, and get some items and some loot for your teammates. Apparently, some storm is coming. I think we have to head back to a base. Oh my goodness. Warning. Incoming hostiles. Area successfully defended. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. These people instantly died. Cool. Yo, on God, I should just rely on my team to like carry me or something like that, man. Later that same evening. Ooh. I got you. Let's stab him. I think I'm dead. <gasps> yeah, I'm dead. Huh? Okay, boys, the wave is coming. Action is coming. I'm gonna throw this. Hello, mother Ooh! My teammates got this, bro. Let's go outside. Surely we're not gonna die or anything like that, right? Surely. First aid kit. Let me use it, like, right now. There's also a tripwire right in front of me. Okay, that means we have to jump over like so. Do not go near the castle. I don't know where the castle is at. I'm guessing it's like that way or something. That's an enemy. I'm gonna evade him though. I got something. Okay, now I'm dead. Dude, I think this game is just too hard for me. Okay, it's just a skill issue. This game is just so hard for me. Yummy. But dude, I gotta say, this game is actually kind of hard to play. I might just throw it up over here already. Now, through my experience of playing this game, I kind of had a rough time. Maybe I should have looked up a YouTube video before playing so I know what to do. But I came into the game blindly. The gameplay itself, I really like the aspect of the game. It took me a while to actually understand it. You have some waves of, like, some enemies coming in. But after you complete the waves, you have to, like, go outside, grab some loot. But you have to know so much about this game, which I think is really good. But yeah, you know what? Let me just put this game all the way at the heart here. Would I put it over Jukes' Tower of Hell? I don't know. Before anything, guys, let me just make some last minute changes. So, alrighty, guys, that's it. That's my tier list on all these uh, hard games on Roblox, which there's a ton more hard games. I only happen to play, like, what, six of these games here? If you guys have any other game suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments. But, anyways, boys, if you enjoyed, please like. But if you didn't, please dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.